Listen, I love you, Mike Mystery Boxes. This one, mm -mm. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. What's all it? right, go. What's up guys, Zach Mac 111 welcome back to another video. Today I have an e-bike mystery box unboxing on the bottom. This is the last one they just dropped. And then I also have a gun that I traded for. And then Brandon, my friend, actually sent me something you guys may have noticed with all of the giant weapons. I literally just take the kitchen knives that are literally right there. But Brandon ended up ordering me this, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of people that send me fan mail. If you guys want to, I'd be awesome. But he's like, dude, you literally don't have a knife. This is something I use all the time. So you should use this and unbox it in a video. And I've not seen this at all. This is dope though. It looks like it's like one of those curved kind of knives. That's sweet. M Tech USA. So I, I really don't know enough about knives to be honest. I've always focused on airsoft and guns and stuff, but I know a lot of people are into these and this looks really cool actually and will definitely be a little bit more usable than my giant kitchen knives unboxing packages that are so unnecessary. So thanks Brandon for sending me this. Alrighty, up first, wow, this cuts way nicer than those kitchen knives. <laughs> Holy crap. Up first, we actually have a package that I traded um, one of my subscribers for. He was like, hey dude, I've seen this um, KW LM4 that I've had for trade for a while. And he's like, I really want to get you something. Um, I'm interested in getting in the GBBR realm and I have no interest in gas with like rifles because I live in the Midwest. So I traded this gun to him for my LM4. You always know it's going to be a good video when you start out with an SAI box. Yeah. I have actually never seen the large SAI boxes. I've seen a ton of them where I've got them for pistols, but it looks like it's basically the exact same pistol version. This is the GMP SAI Salient Arms International M4. These things are super cool. I actually about four months ago had a Polar Star version of these in the black, but I have not ever had one of these in the gray. And this actually could potentially turn into my new Polar Star build. I'm thinking about building a new Polar Star. I've been thinking about it for a while. I think these jailbreak muzzles look so good on these. It's got like a built-in kind of amplifier. And then also, if you want to take this off, you can as well because it's got a really cool flash hide underneath. It's got M-Lock, the SAI, you can see right there on the barrel. I'll kind of get a close-up of that for you guys. You can see that inside. It looks so good under the M-Lock slots. I think the gray on the rail, this is almost like a tungsten gray. Um, my buddy got his real Glock Cerakoted in tungsten. That's, I believe that's what this is. And then this is like a dark gray. And then it matches really well with the black. <laughs> this gun is actually in really good condition. I was kind of surprised. He said, yeah, I've had this gun. Um, I've used it a little bit, but it is in good shape. This one looks like it's almost unused, to be honest. It looks like he's barely messed around at all with it. Um, looks like he may have fielded it once, if that, but if he fielded it once, it's in really, really good shape. Uh, maybe he cleaned it off as well. I actually really like these grips as well. I think they're super comfy in your hands. Um, don't have a groove, which is always a good thing for me. Um, and these are like the kind of like soft mod style stocks in the real world. Um, got the cool stuff there. GMP actually used to make a stock way back in the day that was very similar to this. And then they kind of looks like they almost re-brought back the design. But it was like a, it was like 10 years ago that GMP used to do a stock that was very similar to this. It was definitely higher quality. This one you can kind of tell the edge lines doesn't look quite as good. And the rubber butt pad isn't as nice as that old one was. But overall, super solid gun. These just look so good. I love the body designs and the texturing. I think it looks really good. And then obviously the logos with stuff like this that EMG is doing. It's just going to be super high quality trademarking and laser engraving. And this is a beautiful, beautiful gun. He also included the three Evike BA MF mags. I don't think this came with these. I think you should include this extra. And then obviously it did come with one of the Skull Frog GMP mids, which I think are the best mids around. And then he included, he's nice enough to include a LiPo charger as well. I don't know if the battery is in there. It could be, it feels a little bit heavier. And then these plastic Troy iron sights, Troy style, KSC, I think these are KSC style iron sights. I don't even have to get up. This is nice. Oh, that was actually a good shot. Every time I do that, every time I hit one of the things, I literally, my, my like whole camera. All right, weapon time number two. Just look at how crisply, wow, that's kind of insane. So this is the biggest mystery box I have got in a while. It is 11 pounds. It's make me think that there are two rifles in here. It has been a while since I've got anything super special from an e-bike mystery box. So I'm hoping this will be the one, please. Please be super good. I always get stuff that's solid in every mystery box. You're really, you're not gonna ever lose value in a mystery box. Like they're always gonna go up because e-bike's nice enough that they do a really good job with their mystery box, especially with free shipping. But here we go. It's definitely loaded. Wow. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
Okay, there are a ton of things in here. <laughs> We're starting out with some absolute Springer heat. Um, I'm hoping something super special is in here, but so far it looks like the things that I would have picked up at my surplus store when I was about 12 or 13 years old. <laughs> All right, up first is a Springer Sig Sour. This is a P228, actually. So my, I actually have my dad as a real 229, which is super cool. They are great pistols. Um, it says it is 260 feet per second. That is measured with a 0.12 gram BB. That is how you know it's super high quality. You also love to see your camo BB so people can't see when you're shooting at them. Because when you're shooting sub 200 feet per second like this gun is, it is literally, you can catch the BBs. That's how slow they're moving at some of them. So first gun. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Up next is gun number two, and I have actually owned one of these before. This is a Smith & Wesson shotgun. I bought this from that same surplus store for, I think, $45 when I was 13 or 14 years old. I actually had it for a while. Um, I think it did end up breaking because it's kind of crappy, um, but it's magazine-fed. The wood looks really nice in person at first. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. This was not exactly what I expected in an e bike mystery box, but... Maybe these will be perfect little cheaper mystery box guns that I'll kind of throw in for you guys when I do my mystery boxes in time for Christmas. Oops. I said it. Wave two for mystery boxes is coming soon. It does come with two mags, your good old ultrasonic BBs that Cybergun loves to include in things, and a sniper rifle scope as well. Up next, we have the Evike swag kind of style pack. This is actually pretty nice. They included an Airsoft Con OD shirt. This is actually really nice. It's one of like cotton... Um, it says Airsoft, anything e-bike, it's probably some sort of e-bike marking on there as well. Got another one of these, I've actually had, I think the same one of this before, one of the little furry patches. Um, we have some of the hex stickers that I actually really like, I think these are awesome. And then I think this is one of the e-bike BAMF mags, these are awesome. So I got three of these, four of these in this one back now. And here is the backpack, this is actually pretty cool with all the Velcro spot you kind of get on there. This would be something that would be kind of cool for like a kid to take to school or something. Looks like a little younger bag and kind of throw all your patches there. Looks like you kind of have a cell phone pocket pouch up here. It's actually really nice construction. I'm curious to see how long it would hold up, but it's got one main compartment there and it looks like that's it, but that's a pretty cool, oh, it looks like it does have a little side compartment here below the Velcro as well. And the main gun, but I think there is a little bit of hope in this side box, a Sima spring powered FAMAS. We've getting, we're getting four guns in this box. This is one of the Cybergun FAMASs. There are literally two of these that are at home in my basement where Jared currently resides as a tech midget um, underground person. And uh, we have two of these. We literally have two of these. These are nice starter guns, but they honestly suck so much. They ha It says uh, 466 feet per second, measured with a .12. I bet this thing is shooting maybe 300 maybe it does not have any hop up um oh it does say 361 with a 0.2 i don't believe that it <laughs> says you can shoot 66 yards or 60 meters Bang your butt. listen i love you like mystery boxes this one mm -mm. i'm just gonna be honest <laughs> The saving grace of this entire unboxing, please be something really good. Please be awesome. We did get four guns. I'm not complaining this is bad, but for $200 to get three really basic guns, uh, that's worth 20, maybe 50 and like 30 bucks. I'm hoping this thing is worth pretty good money. It is some sort of pistol. It is an EMG arms. I do not know what that logo is. Oh, this is one of those Archon. Okay, so solid pistol. This is one of the Archon. Um, I had these, and the people were making fun because I didn't pronounce it. I was like A-R-C-H-O-N. I think it's pronounced Archon Firearms. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the same pistol that I got in that one trade with one of the kids that I did. This is the Type B 2018 Germany. So I think these actually do retail for like 150, um, which makes them a pretty solid gun. I really like the tan on this one. I think this is the same length and size as the other one that i had this one might be the subcompact or compact version i don't think this is sub i think this just might be a compact 
I think the other one was a little bit longer just here and then the grip definitely feels like it was a little bit longer. I believe I paid $200 for this unboxing, so technically it's not actually that bad, even if that boy that's over there is $50 that I might leave there. Um, this is like 20 and this is probably like 35 maybe. At least this pistol does equal out and makes it pretty nice. But I will have to say, and I think you guys, you can kind of let me know in the comments, I think this is the worst e-bike mystery box that I've ever gotten. Ever. Which is kind of sad, but at the same time, like, e-bike does a really good job. This is not me hating on e-bike at all. They do a really good job at giving you bang for their buck. But this is, like, would be perfect for the starter and stuff, but I don't feel like many starters buy it. I mean, this is literally, like, I might give this to my little 12-year-old cousin and that he can use this as his first airsoft gun. I actually like these about the same because I have a lot of history with these. These one actually, hop-up-wise, shoot pretty dang flat. And with the point two, um, Rob knows because he's definitely got shot with this many times at the good old family woods from like 12 till 16. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 101. I appreciate you guys a lot. Hopefully, this was fun for you guys because this is pretty fun for me, honestly. Uh, you guys are great. This has been Alec Mac 101, and I'll see you guys later. What's up, guys? It's your boy Alec Mac 111.